Hi everybody, I had just wanted to come on here and do a little video because I had just got received some books that I had purchased and then the little free libraries in my town. My son will not let me put him down so that is why we're holding him and it's like really hot so <laughs> this is fun. But the first ones I'm going to go through are the ones that I got at the little free libraries. This one is The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson. It's a review copy, which I was surprised to find that there because you usually don't find those type of there. And it seems like a little romance, I believe. Yeah, it's like a laugh and cry swoony read that I found, which I'm, I'm into that. Like, I'm currently reading... A book and I'll get to what I'm currently reading after I do the haul but this is the one that I kind of want to start next but I have so many library books up there as you can tell that I can't really <laughs> read anything else until I finish the library books so it's called a good marriage by Kimberly McWright gripped me from start to finish Megan Miranda which I'm kind of excited about that because I'm in a Facebook group that does like psychological thrillers and stuff like that and whew, and they all like there's a lot of people that have read these hang on just a second read this one in particular and I'm excited to like start it. I don't even know what it's about. Excuse me. But I want to kind of go into it blind. All I know is it is a thriller. So I'm kind of excited for that one. And then I have The Perfect Fraud. And this is a advanced reader copy. 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 <laughs> it's The Perfect Fraud, like I said. Ellen LaCourt. I have no idea what this is. It's never too late to see the truth. So that sounds kind of good. And hang on, I'm just like putting my son in his swing. So he has that to do while well, mommy does his little haul. But I think this read is going to be kind of weird. <sighs> the Good Window Widow. I don't know anything about this either. But honestly, like, I like how it's got, like, a really big font. So it kind of... Advanced Reader Copy on sale July 24, 2018. So, this is an awesome Advanced Reader Copy. That's why... It looks like that so I'm hoping that if I was to go out and buy this <laughs> it would be like kind of like the same because it kind of looks cool and it's got like a really nice cover and like the back's really nice it's like kind of that smooth stuff but I don't know anything about it Liz Fenton and Lisa Steinick have been best friends for more than 25 years. They've survived high school, college, and publishing of four novels together, including the best-selling novel, The Good Widow. Oh, okay, that is about the author. But there is... Oh, okay, so... These three girls, Ashley, Natalie, and Lauren, they do a getaway to Tolan, Mexico. It's a thriller. And, like, they're hiding secrets, stuff like that. So that'll be good. And then I have the first three. I don't know if there's any more, but I just know there's three of these. It's Vendetta, Missing, and Pursued by Lisa Harris. And... The first 48 hours are the most critical. Like, that's what Vendetta says. So, it's like a SVU, Criminal Minds type of vibe. 
that I'm getting off of them. Which, I'm excited to read those. I picked those up today at my local thrift store, which was kind of like a plus. And, like, you don't usually find... I don't know why this isn't working, but it's not, so... Oh, okay. There it goes. You don't usually find stuff like that at my thrift store anyway. Like, series that are complete. So, if this is a complete series, well, trilogy, then... I will be down for starting this and like finishing it because they're not even really that long. They're like 300 pages around there, so that'd be good. And then I have three more Scaredy Cat by Mark Billingham. And this is like a thriller, serial killer vibe slasher, which I'm excited for. I've been kind of leaning off of thrillers a lot lately because I had read Hostage was my last Whew. sorry I'm just like really tired but Hostage was my last thriller that I read by Claire McIntosh and I will tell you I will give that book a two star I did not like it like I liked the first part of it but I did not like anything else of that read so I was kind of disappointed in that don't get me wrong people might like it if that's what you enjoy, then have fun. But I did not. And then... Iris Johansson, Shattered Mirror. It's another thriller. And then... It's forensic sculptor Eve Duncan is once again thrown into a deadly game of intrigue when she receives a cryptic package containing a skull and two-sided mirror. So that sounds fun. And then The Lost Woman by Sarah Bledwell. Bladewell? I don't know how to pronounce your last name, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's a housewife in England is targeted, the target of a myth mythological killing shot with a hunting rifle through the kitchen window. She's dead before she hits the ground. So that sounds good. Like, I've been finding pretty much, like, a lot of good reads, I would say, so far at, like, my thrift stores. I had found Hunting Prince Dracula and the second one. I do not know where they're at right now, so don't quote me on the second one, but they're by, uh, I can't even think who they're by, so that's nice. But I'm going to get my current read and then, well, I'm technically on two current reads, but I want to start the push by Ashley Audrian. Hopefully I'm gonna probably start that one tonight if I can finish. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's how that's gonna happen. <laughs> if I can finish From Alaska with Love by Ashley or Allie James. I am currently on 102 chapter nine. And you know, I'm like, I love this book. I will not get you wrong. I will love this book and you will love this book so you should check it out. It is about a guy in the army. His name is Gabe and then this girl, she is, her name is Sarah. Sarah? I want to say her name is Sarah. Yes. Okay. Like there's a little, oh, God, excuse me. There's a lot of Sarahs in books that I've read but this one she is kind of like a quiet, she's an aunt. And she stays at home with the girl, the little girl. I can't remember her name. Kaylee, I think. But she stays at home with her, Kaylee's parents. The brother is Kaylee's dad, obviously, which is Sarah's brother. But she doesn't, or he doesn't really care for the little girl. So Sarah's been taking that all over. And then, um her mom doesn't really care and she's a weather person so she only works like one hour a day so she really doesn't care about her daughter either so Sarah's been taking that over well this guy he lives in Alaska but he is from the army he's a soldier Gabriel Randall and he just he's interested in Sarah they've been emailing back and forth they just started texting and facetiming She's seen him for the first time in the past chapter that I just read, so that's kind of like an overview of what it is. It's just like a fluffy 
romance. I have been yawning a lot today because I get back barely any sleep at night with having a five month old, so that's lovely. But I also am reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Like, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I am on page 44. I have tabbed two things so that I can write them in my reading journal, which I like it, but like I said, I've been getting really out of thrillers lately, so I've just been kind of like mood reading until I can get back into it, which I'm hoping after I finish From Alaska with Love, I can jump back in, get a couple chapters in, and then start the push because that's really what I want to start is the push. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for any Riley Sager book. I've heard a bunch of YouTubers and TikTok, book talk, talk about all of Riley Sager's book. The most that they talk about is Final Girls, and that's their favorite. I have not started that. I own that, but I had went to the library and got in... I think it was the last time I lied and then Home Before Dark and then I'm going to start right the final girls eventually but so far I've just been reading whatever like I didn't think at the first chapter of this I didn't think that I would enjoy it as much as I do but I really do enjoy it and I'm kind of excited to continue but also, a little life update, my son is turning 5 months old on Friday, and then I turn 21 on Saturday, so my birthday is on Saturday, fun for me. We had just adopted a Whippet Pointer mix from our local shelter, and he has been coming around, but like he's very skittish. I may include a clip of him or a picture of him so that you guys can see what he looks like. But he, he's more like hi hiding. Like we have to leave him out on the chain for him to go to the restroom unless we want to walk like really, really long walks. And I haven't been doing that lately because I've been having like knee issues, not knowing why. But I have been, so I am hoping he comes out soon because if not, we're going to have to get him some stress medication. We already have to take him to get some heartworm medicine because the vet said that he did not have heartworms, but to prevent him from getting them, we have to keep it up with, keep updated on that. And then he's only seven months old, so it's kind of puppy training him and everything, kind of difficult. We had rented a carpet cleaner this weekend this past weekend and we um <sighs> went over all of the carpets and my husband which we got married June 20th if anybody would like to know I was so excited like I did not want to tell anybody like on t YouTube until I got married he was my fiance in the last video but now he's my husband and well I think our house looks a lot better with like carpet cleaning it so I told him we're gonna do it like once a month and I think that'll be good for like to keep all the germs and everything off the floor for Jared to crawl around and stuff because he's been trying to crawl so I don't know if he's gonna start yet but he takes his binky in and out of his mouth and then he gets mad since he doesn't have it in his mouth and that's probably going to happen in the next few minutes. So, But other than that, I will update you guys probably tomorrow if I finish this tonight. Because, like, I only have that much left to go. This much. And I'm kind of excited to finish this. So I think I'm going to finish this tonight. And then I will update you again tomorrow with what... I'm going to start reading if I'm just going to start with the push and then like put on hold for Home Before Dark. We'll see how that goes. But this weekend I probably will have a couple clips of what I'm doing for my birthday. My husband's going to be reading all weekend with me which I'm having fun with that one. So I'm hoping 
that we can get, like, we were supposed to go to Ohio, because they have, like, a dollar bookstore or whatever in Ohio, but I haven't decided if that's what I wanted to do, or did I just want to, like, go to our local bookstore so I could support our local bookstore instead, so we'll see about that. There's a couple of books that I kind of want to get, so, like, I want to get more Stephen King books, but then again, I'm like, eh, I don't know, because I really didn't care for the first one that I read, which is Misery. But that's a whole nother vlog for us, guys. <laughs> so, I will get involved with this book here soon. And, because my puppy is outside using the restroom on his chain, so I'm hoping I can read a couple chapters. If not, I will probably have to read it mostly tonight when my son goes to sleep. And that is pretty much all I have to update you guys with. And we will, my little volunteer down here that's playing with his toesies, will get back on here shortly and tell you if mommy has finished this wonderful, wonderful book.